Hi, this is Rachel Richardson with Neutralution Incorporated in South Beach, Florida. In this clip, we're talking about how much sodium is ideal in the diet. And something that I learned as a nutritionist in school that I wouldn't have known otherwise is that there's actually naturally occurring sodium in foods like tomatoes, and believe it or not, in foods like eggs, and all of your plant and animal foods actually contain sodium. So, you know, the reason is because sodium is found in the ground mm -hmm. where vegetables grow and fruits grow. Um, it's also in all of our tissue, including our tissue and any animal tissue that we consume. Um, so from beef and pork, uh, even if it's not cured, it's still got sodium in it. So the reality is um, that we should be able to get the majority of our sodium naturally through, through the foods that we eat, and we shouldn't need to add too much salt to our diet. Um, if you were to look at numbers of how much sodium we would want ideally in our diet, it's somewhere between uh, 2,000 milligrams and 4,000 milligrams, or 2 to 4 grams would be kind of a general idea of how much sodium would be ideal in your diet. This is Rachel with Neutralution in Miami Beach, Florida.